This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. Yeah. Yeah, How dude. Was your fucking weekend, dude. Buddy? I went to a circus. Oh, that's right. When's the last time I went to I a, got a circus? Text from and he goes, "Well, Brian, I'm at a circus, and the uh, the air conditioning broke." broke and now out here in the valley it was about a hundo about a hundo and then we're at the circus at 3 p.m yeah. off topanga and they put it in the middle of a parking lot oh that's a good time oh like, there you go 3 p.m 3 p.m now i mm -hmm. was under the impression because it's it's pumpkin season so we go to all the pumpkin patches sure. la we do a lot of terrible things we dominate in pumpkin patches yeah you, the, yeah. We have the best in the straight up the best in the world. A lot of pumpkin. Pumpkins very easy to grow. Yeah, by the Jack way, Jack of Knights right up the street off King's Jack Ranch. There, it's amazing. Yeah. You have uh, that other farm up there. I forget what it's called. It's the they're like the two best in the United States. Yeah. They're like a mile apart. Yeah. So I thought it was like a Halloween thing. Mm -hmm. My kids love the circus. Yeah. It was not cheap. No. Nope. It was not cheap. No. Do we? Um, we sit down and I look at my girl I'm like, oh, this is like. A circus? He goes, yeah, I said circus. I'm like, yeah. I thought it was like Halloween thing. No, no, no. Oh, and no. And that's a traveling circus. Now think about this. All family, though. It's a family traveling circus. Of course circus. it is. Of course so it is. So the guy who I bought my nachos from was the same guy <laughs> riding around on a motorcycle in the steel cage with his wife in the middle. Uh, what? Oh, oh yeah. What? It's a whole family. Oh, excuse me. What? Yeah. Really? I was stressed out the whole time. The whole time. They, because they bring out like a, a a circular cage, and this guy comes out on a motorcycle. Like oh, that's cool. He's just gonna go up and down the motorcycle. He starts doing that, and they're like, "Let's add more." And then they bring in a girl, his wife. She's in the middle like this. He's going around a million miles an hour. I'm like, "Geez, that's not safe." Yeah, that's not safe. Let's bring more. Another dude comes. I'm like, "What the hell is going on here?" So two, I'm my stress is through the roof. Oh, so they're doing this. I don't like this already. Oh, but imagine. It's so it's smaller than that. They're going okay. way faster than that. Really? They turn the lights off. What? And then the, there's a there's a woman in the middle. Then they bring in a third guy. You know when you're watching a porno, yes. you're like, "There's no way this is gonna fit." Yes. It fits. And like, oh, thank God. Now so imagine a second doing? big dong comes in. You're like, how are we gonna make this work? They make it work. Now imagine a third big black dick comes. Yeah, like, yeah. how are we gonna figure this out? No, and, and they you'll navigate. Figure it out. Oh, she navigated the yeah, water, yeah, 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 dude. I was. You I just want, turned her into a, into a, the filthiest of porn stars. Yes. she's just a mom. Oh yeah, they're my favorite. Yeah, Black.com shout them. But yeah. then, they're, by the they're, way, my fave. Yeah, my but so then, so then, <laughs> then there's a steel. If there is a porn thing. I'm gonna. Yeah, watch. I don't know one. if there is, but so then, then there's a there's a some sort of weird thing. It's like a metal bar. There's two balls at the end. Mm. And these two brothers get in there, and it's so high, spinning around. They go outside of it, and they're flying in the air. And in my head, I'm thinking, how much are these guys making? Yeah. I don't know how much I paid. It's not that full. I mean, it was. it's a Thursday night at the Comedy Zone in Charlotte. You feel oh, me? It's not full. Okay. So I'm like, I'm looking around like, they're, they're not making too much money. Yeah. The rent here, there's yeah. so many... There's so much staff with Love security, that. all that. And I'm thinking, it's not worth it, fellas. It's not worth it. I just want to say, hey, we're entertained. Just stop. Yeah. I'll Just stop. I got my nachos. The kids are happy enough. Let's get out of here. Well, were there any animals in this circus? It's illegal. So I was telling my son, I said, when I was a kid. So you don't put your head. There's no guy who tames lions, puts his head in the See, that's mouth. the kind of cold, hard cash I would pay yeah. for. That's the shit I would pay yeah. with. I told my son, I said, dude, circus is so different. When I was a kid, oh, yeah. your grandpa shop took me to the circus. There were lions. There were tigers. Yeah. There were elefantes. Uh, elefantes. And he goes, why did they stop doing that? And chimpanzees. I told, he, goes, chimpanzees. he goes, why did they stop doing that? I said, because that elefante got sick of their shit and stomped all of them. Well, did you ever see the footage of the uh, tigers that were being tamed? And a guy rides in on a horse. He's going to do horse tricks. Now, the problem with bringing a horse in with even tame lions is what happens is it's called instinct and all of a sudden the tame lion goes oh wait that's a horse now in the wild <clears throat> i take those down might want to take a look at this well he doesn't though right there's no horses in the wild where ti bengal tigers same are. thing but same thing like yeah. if it's a deer or whatever sure. that's still a giant them, deer like, that's it's also a tiger doing tiger shit but if I'm, uh, oh, there you go. I like when the tigers and lions. And I think elephants, it's that one up there. I like when they what? fight back. I'm, I'm all for it. Hell yeah! Use that towel and slap the horse. Yeah, we're not going to show this. <laughs> okay, well that's. So that's, what we're watching oh, is a guy rode in on oh, a horse, that, oh and the God. tiger went, "I'm starving." 
Yeah, well, they're both attacking it. That's oh, what they do in the wild, dude. That's what they do in the wild. That's not good. Do you know what I do if I'm at that circus? Well, I mean, that's just Bravo! A, it's just a lion and tiger doing Bravo! what tigers do. That's what they do. They get underneath and they pull them down and they eat them. It's yeah, that, my does. circus was not like that. <clears throat> oh, I would no. pay Look at that thing. way more money if it was a circus. Yeah. Yeah, because now, because Peter gets involved, you can't do the elephants, yeah. can't do the lions, can't do tigers, yeah. definitely can't do that chips. That horse, horse is all oh, kinds of bunch They're still stuff. going at them. Yeah, of course. You gotta it's give a show, food, man. dude. <clears throat> I like the guy with the towel. He keeps missing and hitting the horse. Oh, my God. Just, 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 and they're, they're hamstring. The also, is that the only precaution there is, is a towel? Yeah, That's what I'm saying, the towel. Joke. Also, if I'm the if I'm the dad of the thing, I'm like, hey kids, let's get out of here because as soon as they're done with this horsey, one hundred percent, we're the next victim. That horse seems like he's okay though. He's, he's shaking it there's off. There's a lot of blood though. Poor he guy. probably slit his throat. Okay. Poor guy. Yeah. That's, he's he's gonna bleed out. Mm -hmm. You still, gotta get that horse to the vet, but they probably have to put that horse. Still down. a better show than what I got. Yeah. <laughs> a better show. I would pay so much money. See yeah, that? yeah, yeah. But Tiger didn't believe me. He's like, Dad, you're lying. I'm like, dude, I'm telling you, lions, tigers, yeah. elephants, some had bears. Bears, too. Yeah. You had a, you had a muzzled bear. It's now, none of those, thing you none guys, those animals fat were chicken treated dress, well. dude. Those animals had shitty lives. So I, I support. Well, that's why they freak out. Yeah. That's why I like, like, remember when, uh, what, Siegfried and Roy? Yeah. Remember that line with that white tiger was like, you know what, dude? I'm sick of your shit, man. D yeah. And I'm sick of you making me watch you suck Roy off all the fucking time. <laughs> I'm gonna rip your throat out. Well, Remember that? Yes. He was like, you know what? Not today. Well, and throat. do you know? And do you know? He probably was like, I don't like your hair. Now, here's the thing. Also, uh, apparently, he made a mistake, and that mistake was he fell down in front of him, and you can't do that with a tiger. Apparently, the tiger didn't eat him because he said he tastes like plastic. <laughs> well, and he is made of plastic, and that's the only thing that saved his life was the synthetic. Uh, taste in his mouth um i like when this stuff happens what do you think was gonna happen uh, were they lovers or something oh they did, he was yeah. balls deep in siegfried yeah well okay, oh dude okay. blowing those white l bangle oh, loads dude, dude all right all right yeah yeah, yeah oh, no okay. he slimed roy out uh-huh he slimed roy out. well but he bought don't say slime please he slant clam no, tiger slime roy out. oh god he clamped his powerful jaws around roy's neck dude Clamped his powerful anus uh, around his cock. Dragged, dragged him 30 feet off stage. Again, I would pay hard, cold cash to see that. No, 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 you wouldn't. In not. Vegas? Yeah. Oh, dude, that'd be a fantastic show. He just and you know, him, he like, lived. grabbed him by the throat and just walked off stage. Sign me up. He died, right? No, 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 no. No, he, he, no, he survived that and came back. He did? Yeah, he came back. Are you sure? But positive. He didn't, you he, say a lot of things in that. No, right bring now. it up. No, he didn't die. Uh huh. He, he, well, they're dead no, they're dead now. Oh, they both just, are from plastic in their face. <laughs> they didn't die from the tiger. Well, hold on. They died from Botox. I think yeah, they, they may have died. <laughs> no, that tiger cancer. didn't kill him. Oh, pancreatic cancer. Yep. If the tiger didn't get oh, you the cancer, 81. well, 81. who was the other one who died? Though was that the one who got bit? Uh, Siegfried and Roy is their names. <laughs> yes, but which one got bit? Hey, I need you hey, to be a matter? little more sensitive. Hey, does it matter? I, hey, I. Roy, what are you gonna I do with it? Hey, to get what are you gonna do with that info? His name, Roy died. Roy Horn. There you go. Okay. Now what? But I would like you to be a little bit more. No, no, no. Now what? We're in the weeds here now. I, I just want you to be a little bit more sensitive. Oh, Roy got bit crazy. Uh, Montecore attacked Roy on stage, nearly killing him. Uh, but was he? Wasn't he paralyzed or something? He got messed that? up for sure. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, your <clears throat> neck isn't made for tiger bites. Your neck is not made for, for that kind of pressure. Hey, it's also what you get though. Yeah, well, I, that is the thing, right? In other news, you're going to no work shit. with them. Bites through the neck, slicing his vertebrae and severing an artery that cuts off the blood to the right side of his brain. Drags, oh my God. Yeah, he, uh, his neck's a little stiff. Oh man. He died after this though. Not because of the attack, but because of the cancer. Right. How, how's no one stepped in? How, how are there not two young, handsome blokes stepping in to get these tigers going? They probably learned. And also... I thought it got them already. I don't, I don't think you can do... Well, they were, when they were young, bring up them, bring up them when they were young. They were, they were a couple 
cutie pie. Oh, a couple, couple twinks. Chisel yeah, a couple twinks. twinks in the fur. Twinks in the fur. Chisel twinks in the fur. Dude, they would get off stage and fuck. Well, I don't know, dude. Were they lovers? <laughs> Yeah, dude, you I'm pretty th- sure dude, they were together. Look yeah. at Hold that. up, dude. You think these two started a fucking tiger okay, show because they're not problem. sucking each other but off? Here's the thing. One had to be the top, and I feel like both seem like v- strong bottoms. No, that guy in the right's strong the top. Strong bottoms. The guy in the right with all the chains at the He's top. He's fantastic. Yes. Look at his body, dude. Ooh, look at his curls. Oh. That's a nice look at that fucking, that tiger's like, okay. Yeah, that's okay. a lot of work. Mm-hmm. Look at his nose. I don't, like okay. his, I don't like his thin mustache and his perm at all. That tiger's like, how many stupid pictures we got to take with you two? They were big cat experts, dude. With they you two queens. They wore open shirts and nobody <laughs> knew they were gay at first. Oh, everyone knew though, but we just pretend. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Liberace. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Liberace was... Uh, Bring up Liberace and take a look at him. I always thought you dressed like, you know, in oh, a I colorful wish. way. But he, he, he wears too many He's crystals. a gay Brennan Schaub. Oh, he's at another level. Could play the piano, though, huh? Oh, oh. He couldn't get enough. He couldn't get enough decoration. You fucking Christmas tree. What's crazy is back then, the, they had like stories that he was married. It was just a fake marriage because they didn't want the public to find out. But also, dude. Dude. Everyone knew. He was a lady. And you know, um, you could use him as a lighthouse. You could use him to keep shit. He could start a fire. Yeah. You could use him to start a fire. Yeah. You know what? With all that you know grasses what? and hairspray and yeah, he, he he is he's solar powered. He he could absolutely warm a small village. Did you ever see uh, Matt Damon play his boyfriend? I did not. And then Michael Douglas is I didn't. Oh. I heard it was great. Oh, behind the Cabalabra or whatever yes, the fuck it's called. Behind the Cabalabra. <laughs> yeah. Cavalabra, ca- ca- candelabra, candelabra, Cana, beyond the candelabra. Cana. Yes, the candelabra. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, well, wow, dude, I watch it once a year. I don't know if that makes me gay, <laughs> but I can't. Do you watch it? I watch that and True Blood. I Call me gay. It. No, well, once you a are. year, True Blood and behind the cab- candelabra. The truth is, your um, Matt you're, Damon, that in his chin is fantastic. You're actually gayer than I am. But, and, and, and you should be applauded. But you know what's that. weird? You know how you jack off to special forces guys? And yes. there's so many of them. And black guys. Yes. Or black athletes. Yeah, so anybody, there's so many of those. Anybody muscular. Mine's this. Tall. Mine's this and Jared Leto. That's it. Only two. Yeah. You, that makes well, you, you like you like you like decoration. You like flamboyance. I mean, you uh, like a man with style. Uh, if you're you know, gay, you got to go all in. You also like a gender bender. You, you, you appreciate a gender bender. You like a, a sort of an androgynous decorated Mystery. oh yeah i mean a man you you can smell his perfume not even cologne but perfume before he gets into the room i yeah i like a man Ooh, who I don't smells like, like wood and moss uh, I don't, I don't like and that. death uh, that's not, i don't like that he yeah is, he's a beautiful young man he really he's is 50 dude. He's, he's older than 50 great body 52 now i think that's incredible just look crushing life look at big him. ufc fan Hands loves the Jesus. ufc does he have you met him Never. I wish I did. I've seen him at parties. Theo did. Theo's at a party next to him. Or yeah. at the UFC next well, to him. Well, Rogan said he's so just jealous. a great guy. He couldn't believe how normal he was. Those piercing blue eyes. Probably a distraction if you're fighting. God damn. Pink hair with a Gucci fit, dog? I mean, you love him. Yeah, he's my fave. He knows his shit. B, let's take a little break. Yeah. I'm headed to Niagara Falls November 4th and 5th. I'm at the Comedy Store tomorrow night with some monsters. Where are you going to be, buddy? I'll be at the Schaumburg Improv, buddy, uh, October 27th, 28th. Then I'm at Raleigh, North Carolina. Good nights, November 9, 10, and 11. Got that going for me. All right. Were well, you watching the NFL, dude? You watching I am, some college I'm watching football? the NFL. And, uh, if you're watching the NFL, you need to make some bank because the NFL is better than ever, and DraftKings Sportsbook is a Hooking new customers up with an offer that's even stronger than this NFL season. Bet five bucks on any game this week. Score $200 and instantly in bonus bets. And DraftKings isn't stopping there. All customers can take advantage of a sweeter offer every game day this October. Uh, bet on the Dolphins. The Jags are good this year. Bet on the, the 49ers. Eagles and the 49ers. Niners probably the best team in the league, I yep. think. Not the Cowboys. Not no. the Cowboys. Get in on the game day greatness. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use the code FIGHTER. New customers can score $200 instantly in bonus bets when you bet five on the NFL. That's code FIGHTER only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner, the NFL. 
numbers. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLING or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please pay, play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort KS, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario, ccdkng.com.co slash football for eligibility terms and responsible gaming resources bonus bets expire seven days after issuance eligibility and deposit restrictions apply DraftKings promo code fighter he's a star i don't what am i gonna say in 30 seconds to mars he can sing too he can sing yeah he can sing um yeah but i went to a circus yeah went to a circus you went to the circus went to the circus and tiger had a game yesterday he did balling well i feel like that you showed me what he did that kid is a uh i mean is he going to the majors i told you you want oh. a meeting we're, we're starting now 10 mil get in the get your well, get your, I, get on, your foot in the door let to me talk manage to him. him i don't i, I gotta give you, you 10 mil just to talk to him what? you gotta wet our beat dude but bro let a me lot just, of competition listen listen I, I i nobody's gonna care about this kid more than me all right let me be the man that builds the road to the major leagues. You don't know baseball, though. I don't. That's the problem. I don't, but I have watched it. <laughs> I have watched but it. But I have watched it. You sound like it. his coach right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said, did you play his? Nah, never. Does he, he clearly, <laughs> is that what he said? Yeah. Nah, never, man. I watched hey, a lot man. of it. I went, what? Wow. Because you know how it goes, man, at this level, I go, no, no, no. Wait, hold on. You've never played? Nah, nah, nah. How long you been here? Six seasons. Oh, dude. Where I'm at, down. Because you know anything about sports, went. Where do I start? Yeah. How far you want to go back? You got to get him to a real program. I'll take it from here. Yeah, get what? him in a real program. Oh yeah, yeah. And at, you're, at you're level coaching level. him right now a little bit, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it's just repetition. Every now, day. Now um, he does stand out, doesn't he? Yes. And he's hand-eye coordination, strength, all of that. He's a better, way better athlete than I was at his. Age. Is that right? Not even close. Really? Not even. You don't close. say. Well, don't kid that yourself. Your yesterday. wife's family, your wife's brother is an athlete. That kid's an oh, athlete. He, yeah, he played. Played baseball. Yeah, high-level baseball. Yeah. yeah. He was throwing, when we were playing dodgeball, he was I throwing know, a ball. I was, I was like, like, chill out. He was throwing a ball at dodgeball so fast. I was like, that's a fucking UFO. That looks like a, <laughs> like literally it would whistle past us. It was actually changing, like changing It was lanes. like when Billy Madison was playing with the kids. Oh, we my were God. like, oh, my God. <laughs> Shoot. It was like, whoa. Like, hey, you can't play. Uh-uh. Yeah, you can no, throw. I couldn't believe that. Yeah, then, yeah, Joanna's athletic, too. You played volleyball with her? I did play volleyball with her. She's got some strength. For a Mexican? For a, she's For a Mexican? Mexican? She's Italian-Mexican, too, isn't she? Yep. Yeah. She's all curved up. Not that I noticed. I would never <laughs> notice that. <laughs> I, I was walking behind her at one point. I remember I go, Joanna, seriously. She goes, what? I go, I mean, it's a little ridiculous I, I at this that. point. Yeah, I remember What are we doing? You know what I mean? But even even my father-in-law yesterday, you know, because my mother-in-law's, you know, she's a dime. She, she, by the she way, had these jeans by on. The way, he goes, she's the same thing. He goes, he goes, he calls her my mom. He goes, your mom's ass. Your mom, can we look at your mom's ass? It's true. Like, Did you sign up for it's this? It's true. Dude? She's that, when you say grandmother, you think grandmother. She's my age and well, well, just looks so much better than I do at my age. Just preserved oh if we curved. go to dinner everyone's like you know it's it's stupid they'll both shut the room down in in the movie in I'm the like we're in, in apple in piece. the soap opera movie you know the twist is that the baby is actually yours and yours yes yes yeah you know what i mean yeah but mom and by movie joe, you mean you mean well joe's like up. joe's like how dare you and you're like but babe she looks just like you and it was older, dark yeah, and i was dark. drunk yep. you know yep yep you know what i'm saying you do that so that would be weird. I'm eating Big J Shab in Sacramento on Friday, picking up my truck, Daddy. Love you, How brother. scared are you going to be of my truck? Man, I'm not it's sorry. not for you, is it? No. What? What? Are, just so I can. It be couldn't annoyed. be more opposite of what. Just so you I do. can be annoyed. What horsepower are you getting it up? We to? should be right around 1100. Is that good? Is that a lot? And you're going to drive that bad? The, the, the fucking crazy thing is that's your everyday drive. Yeah, I'll drive it every day. <laughs> every day. I can't handle it. You just can't no, get you enough. Can't. No, you no can't. but you can't get enough meat under the hood. You can't. There's too much potential. You me. just can't. It's like staring at a painting, going, "Nah, we're not done." My yet. buddy Dave used to date girls that were so plastic, 
And I said to him one day, I said, dude, do her tits have to be that fake? And he goes, I like tits to look too fake. I want them to look, I don't want them to be fake. Yes, I want people them to like look that. fake where people go, that's not, that's a disaster. And that's how I'm with cars, obviously. you're saying? Yes. yes. Yeah, I, I just like crazy shit. If the yeah. potential's out there, I can't stop thinking about it. I just like wild shit in cars. Yeah. If I know you can toss this supercharger on, this pulley on, why not, dude? Why not? It's so fun. And then the car community's nuts. They're so dope, so supportive. Like the hat I'm wearing, this Kibbe Tech, they're one of the biggest brands in the world. I didn't know this. They're right, his office is right up here. They're right up, so I was like, I'm going to stop by. He's like, come by. Private shop. I should come by, hang out with them, talk shop. Kibbe Tech, and, and what, what do they do? Do they soup cars up? Is no, that the right word? they do suspension. They do suspension. Just suspension? Uh, no, they can do it all, but that's that, like but it's all. It's but it's all handmade. Science? Is that a science? Oh my god! Because they do like Baja, like racing, like oh. the Baja racing. Right. It uh, it's not. You're talking about. And here's the thing: they're the best in the world, and they're right up here. And it's a dude who's from Cali, American made. Does a he ta literally takes the parts, custom makes it himself for the cars. It's nuts. All American why don't, why made. Why don't the uh, Why don't you just pour Magic Mind into the fuel tank? Oh, I might. Try that in your electric car. Guys, if you're into souping up your car, that's one thing. Soup if up you your wanna, body. If you want to soup your body up, you want to soup your body up, just take this tiny shot of Magic Mind. Not only is it delicious, but it soups you up. Now, I don't have to go down to a shop in Sacramento, but when I drink this, I feel like I'm running on 11. 100 horsepower you get tu turbocharged yeah but it's like putting thing, fuel injectors i don't need, I don't need more gas nuts. i don't need more gas do i no it's got its own gas <laughs> thanks magic mind for souping my body up souping me you soup your body up i soup my cars it's up. the one-stop shop look guys you find american tune, made it's american made you fine-tune your car fine-tune your body with magic mind Mm. Now here's the problem, B. When you soup up these char these cars, they need be they need to run on E85 fuel. Oh God! So Daddy had to Which download what? an app because it only because you don't know where the E85. Ah, uh, but there's a lot around here. Here's where it gets tricky when you're driving from Sacramento to LA, and you know that TRX is going to get about five miles a gallon. Yeah, it's about so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to figure out stops along the way oh. to get E85. Oh boy. Because it won't accept any other gasoline. So what is E85? That flex fuel vehicle driver. A lot of corn. Yeah, it's corn. It's ethanol. Yep. It's ethanol. Yeah, but here's here's the oh plus E85. So that is so unfair. So gas right now is like seven dollars. Thanks, Biden. That stays around three. Oh, it does. Never. It doesn't because it, it's not oil. Uh, you so know, it doesn't uh, go up and down like Biden mm, screws us. Mm, 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 be honest with you right now. Mm, be honest with you. Yeah, please do. Um, I, you're gonna have a hard time finding. Oh no. E, E85. No, it's so easy. I don't know if it is, Bob. Because it's I, not for you. I haven't seen that though. I know, but you're a cock. <laughs> <laughs> right? So you, you wouldn't even know if it, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even know if no, it was there. That is an unfair. You cannot call like me race a cock. Fueled? No, dude. No, I'm not a cock because I don't know. I where get, e you would notice it. Um, if, if you'd notice if it said like 91, 93 gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant black cock. No, you're like <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, but, but because it says E85, you're like oh, I don't see them. <laughs> no, that's not. No. <laughs> yeah. I think you're being very unfair. No, I have an app. There's so many. Once you once you become once privy you're, to it, there's so many. Yeah, yeah, there's so many. Yeah, it's it's not gonna be a problem. Um, there's one a block from my house uh -huh. check okay there's one a block from the studio check so that so that way you so you only make two you only have to make two stops every from day. here to the, every to day. the, yeah, to the studio <laughs> that's good yeah it's just what you got to do dude right have you done a have you done a little something something on what kind of gas miles you're going to get it's not more than nine miles per gallon yeah uh well right now like city is probably to like not joking probably cities around nine yeah. and then highways probably 12 yeah Adding the, adding the horsepower, yeah. I, I would assume I get around ten or nine. Ten to nine, yeah. So that and that's you know the so you, you know spend the hundred grand on fuel. Yeah, but you know the direction all you cucks are going, like electric, China, all that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going this way because I'm American, right? <laughs> no. <'Cause> I'm American. <laughs> no, but if you want to, no. if you want to bend the knee to China, no. drive no, your electric. No, no, I feel like if you want to ruin the environment, drive what? your electric. No, I feel like you're being. If you don't like the sound. Of horsepower yeah, no. and gas engines, yeah. 
drive your cuck electric no. mobile please, to China. Please, you know, it's not fair to term you yeah, into you're a communist. cuck. You're communist cuck. No. I, look, I go the opposite. Just dude. because I drive an electric car doesn't mean I'm in the corner masturbating while my, my, my lady takes on other men. That's just not a fair comparison. Really? I mean... I am probably. I, I, I just assumed it was a thing. Well, I assumed if you drive a Tesla, I can like your wife. Well, no. <laughs> I just thought dim the rules. No, no, no. Yeah, I thought dim the no. rules. Like when I see you in driving the, a Tesla does not mean my wife is is fair game. What, what? Who told you that? I thought when you signed the contract, no, it says that you can you you can r drive in the high occupancy lane, but you're not allowed to. No, that's not the this high is occupancy new to me. lane I'm talking about. This is bro. new to no. me. No, dude, it's where I draw the line. Plus, well, Sony's would, explained explain this better to me because no. I whenever. I see people yeah. in the HOV lane yeah. with their electric cars and yeah. there's only one person I'm like I'll just follow him home and fuck his wife no 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 dude I don't think that's what it means bro oh weird dude yeah look it just it, we're just trying to you know not stop at the gas station so often and keep the environment the air clean wow I, I need to look more into it yeah 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 because I just thought no no and i just yeah because like, they do give me a weird look where i'm like suck me no no yeah no no no. And it's like a full no, do family they, does, does his wife look at you when you drive by she was like this oh yeah now I'm all yeah. she was and is your car going to be louder now oh boy impossibly loud. so it's going to be my neighbors going to hate me rock and roll ain't noise pollution wow yeah dude. so now what do you think when you see a a man rolled by and a so no, just do my favorite. Be honest, Han. If you if you see a dude pull up in a a Tesla, Tesla three, three three all white, white on white all white white on white could be more cuckish white on white. And or, a guy or pull my up Barcelona into, red into, into, Prius, which I used to drive. whichever pick your poison, the red Ram, pick your pick your soft poison. Yeah, or you see someone pull up in like a I don't know a demon fucking Challenger. I mean, I don't want to say the word, but if I see the Challenger, I'm gonna think this guy. Yeah. I oh mean, damn! You know, like dim this the, guy. Dim the rules. Fuck, she but dim the rules. That. Dim the rules. Damn. But the guy in the Tesla could too. He'd just be a little more sensitive about it. I don't want to be that guy. Well, <laughs> I, this guy. I, I thought it was assumed. Your first choice is, is Demon Raptor. Of oh, course. I mean, this guy. Fuck. Don't say Demon Raptor because those are two different okay. brands, and that makes you want to hit you. Okay. <laughs> but it doesn't because they're two separate fucking brands. So that's like saying I'm a Red Sox. I Yankee apologize. Fan, I apologize. Right? I, I didn't know that. You're the one who said demon. You have a raptor, though, right? No. Okay, I don't know. They're the enemy. Oh, a Dodge Demon. TRX. Oh, a TRX. With a Hellcat engine. It's a Hellcat. A demon is a Challenger, and the demon's the, it's basically my engine, but with a bigger blower on it. Okay. A blower means supercharger. Okay, a blower. Either way, that gets you, you go, that guy's an alpha. That guy's over the top. Or you know you're going to have some fun. The guy I in Tesla, you know, like, okay. He's not, he's not husband material, but he's definitely fuckboy material. I didn't say that. Okay, but that's what you would assume. I mean, yeah. Yeah, he's got, a, he's, got, he's got shoulders on him. He's got a forward tilt to him, did some sports. He's got big traps, for sure. He's got like, traps. He might not be able to touch his neck. They're so big. Big traps, big dick. Yeah. And he'll protect you. <laughs> not, for sure. Yeah. Not, not the car will. Not necessarily and big. And Go then on. when we look over the Tesla, we're assuming she's whoa, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. And like headed to Marshall's, right? <laughs> Why would I go to Marshall's? Because it's lame as shit, right? <laughs> Marshall's Bro, is so, I used to go as a kid. My but, mom but, take me all the time. No, but my I can enjoy it. My Tesla's I don't know why got, I said Marshall's, man. It's got kick, though, my Tesla. Zoom. Save it. Zoom. Save it. Zoom, zoom. In and out. Quiet. Did you pop for that auto drive with yours? What's that? Did yeah, that's auto that? drive. Oh, okay. kind of. Back. You and I drove in that I thing. It was back. so dangerous. It was dangerous. We're, he, Brian's like, check this. Oh, my God. Well, I knew when, <laughs> when, when Lex Friedman, who designed it for Elon Musk, was on Rogan. Rogan goes, well, if it, if it fails, he goes, not if, when it fails. Yeah. And I was like, well, if you're saying that. But what's scary, I, I don't know how I feel about it, because in San Francisco, they're using those cars that drive themselves, like Ubers you can just jump into. It's coming to L.A. And then once it hits L.A., then everyone copies us as usual, right? But, you know, like I think it's like 93% of car crashes are human error. So think about it. If it's yeah. controlled by a robot and they get it done in yes. time where it's that safe, you can save 93% of car crashes. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's always good. Now, Daddy's still going to have to rip, right? Yeah, you because America, it's free. You're going to be the only one. I'm going to rip, and dude. all of us are going to be like this. Oh God! All oh, the judgment. If you oh. can get jump in a, a safe, 
Yeah, it'd be like a special Robot forces dude car. who 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 just kind of st- in a ba- in the middle of a battle stumbles into a woman's yoga slash meditation retreat. It's gonna be frowned upon. You know what I mean? Candles, flowers. There's incense. There's, You're the enemy. There's, yeah, there's cur- and he just goes, and then she, they're all like, ah! and he's like, sorry, sorry, and he just and and all the girls immediately start ovulating, yeah. even though they find him, even though they find him totally vulgar well, you're just, rock hard right now huh? yeah i am yeah yeah i am because i'm one of the girls yeah i know because i'm literally in a wig and you're like brian i'm like Weird. i can explain Weird. remember in sopranos do you remember when sopranos? when the guy was uh blowing you find out that the guy's gay yeah and he's dancing he's got a hat on and he's in the club yeah with a guy yeah. and the two guys come in to collect and they see him and he's like no i can explain i can explain what about it they kill him the hell yeah dude bad. it's bad yeah. It's not good. There was a gay twist in Sopranos. <laughs> Dude, are you excited for Dylan Danis, Logan Paul this Saturday? I am excited about that. You're going to miss it, though, huh? I'll be at a at wedding. Two. I'll be at a wedding, Brennan. Where's the wedding at? Florida. What I like to do are is gonna fly, fly to across f- the country. Whose wedding? It's family. Which family? Cousin. Nope. I know. <laughs> nope. 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 I know. I'm not a cousin alive that flood of Florida. I understand that. I understand that. And they, you know what? And they get it. That's why we're family. They get it. Where's your wedding, Florida? You know I can't come. Why? Because I can't. No, no, it's too far. It's too far. Yeah, it's too far. So you it's, leave on Friday? It's just too far, but I kind of have to go. Um, I leave on Saturday morning, Brendan. I'm going to leave, and I'm going to get there. I'm going to just get there. And it's fun, though. It'll be fun. I nah, like, it's going like to be a terrible time. I, I like them. I like the yeah. people. Man, what a nightmare. I'd be like, hey, you know, I travel for a that living. It's, you know, I, 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 it's so painful for me. You live on a People plane. People don't realize how what it's like to sit on a plane like the way we do. I love being home. No, I, I, I've cut back, dude. I, I, I yeah, can't do it. Yeah, but you love being home. I, can't, I love it. I love it, too. I don't want to go anywhere else. Ugh. I just want to be at home. I can't do it. I do not want to be anywhere else. Um, so but, you miss the Dylan Dennis Logan, because it starts at, I think, the walk here around 12? I, I think in boxing, Dylan's got his hands full. Am I am I wrong about that? No, you and everybody else okay. thinks that. He's a Logan looks as good as you can look. He's jacked. Jacked. Um but So the main card starts there too, that's what I'm saying. But the the actual guy, so that means they probably will walk here around three. Who is the better athlete, would you say? Uh Logan. Yeah. For sure probably, better athlete. Right? Yeah. But the better ath- athlete doesn't always win. No. No. But but, how much boxing has Dylan Dennis done? How much have either of them done? The, well, yeah, he hasn't competed in Logan over hasn't, two years. Logan hasn't boxed. Um, He's never won a fight. Yet. Has. Logan's never won a fight. Yeah, hmm. he lost to KSI. I think he had a draw with another YouTuber, and they lost to Floyd. That's why you were saying he doesn't want any part of um, Mike Perry. No, 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 nobody does. Right? No. That'd Dylan or situation. no, yeah. no, no. But Dylan is a Dylan's a fighter, man, and Dylan has a lot of experience. But he hasn't fought since 2019. It's good. Well, this is a coming good off, fight. Coming off knee surgery, it's an interesting fight because you know they're not even the main event. KSI uh, Tommy Fury is the main event. Nobody's yeah. talking about it though. Yeah. What do you think of that? Tommy Fury should dominate. Yes. Um, but I'm more interested in Dylan and Logan. And I, I think Dylan's going to go in there. I, th- I think he's going to do some off the wall shit. I think he's going to try and choke him unconscious. What do you mean in a boxing? He's just match? a wild boy. Yeah, that's what I think is going to happen. Really? Yep. I think they have to separate him, and they're gonna, the, the fight's going to be a no contest. That's what I think. Because Dylan doesn't want to stand toe to toe. I think yeah. I think he's going to go in. He's not going to have success early on the feet and be like, "Fuck it, choke him out." He's a lot smaller than Logan, or not no? that much smaller. Okay, Logan's definitely a lot more muscular and taller. He has an uh, inch and a half reach advantage, but this level doesn't matter, does mm-hmm. it? Uh, can we see Dylan Dennis like hitting mitts or anything? I haven't seen him. He's had MMA fights, but it's mostly he's had two. He goes two right to wrestling, though. Yeah, two submissions in Bellator. Kind of train with uh, Alex Pahea a little bit, okay. sparring. And Pahea was good rounds. That's what they say. That's what Alex said. I mean, Dylan Dennis has got to be a dog, either way. A what? A dog. He's a, he's, a he's a definitely an underdog. So we can't really. Well, I'll show a little bit of this. Yeah, but that's I don't I don't know. What no, we don't want to see him grappling. I know, I know. Hold on. Uh, I think 
Logan is a minus three fifty favorite. I think it's fair. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just I just don't know, right? That's my thing. We're trying to break down the shop shop. Right? I, listen, guys. Usually I'll give you some insight here. I don't know what to tell you. Mm. But oh, your, your hands are down there, brother. Sparring footage is like you, that you know. Keep your hands down. It's whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're kicking here, so yeah, that's not the same. Doesn't look like he's been doing a lot of boxing training, sir. We can't base off social media. Hold on, this is a sixteen-year-old girl calling you. Hold on. Oh no, no. Yeah. Hold oh, on. I'm sorry. He's watching TikTok and then judging the guy's oh. fighting style. Oh, there TikTok. you go. All right. Well, there you go, Brendan. <laughs> Choking no, out. There you no, go. He's, he's gonna do some wild <laughs> shit. I'm telling you, man. Yeah. He's gonna yeah. get frustrated and pull that, and they have to separate into no contest. And fans are going to be so upset. He's going to get sued again. Mm. I'm sure that's in the contract if he does a submission, just the same way Nate Diaz had. Really? Dylan Dan's a wild boy, man. Wild boy. And a submission would be so strange. Like, what are you doing? We'd be talking about it, though. That's all he wants. Yeah. Mm. I'm excited for it. I'm excited. I'm excited. Tommy Fury. I don't even know how to stuff. pay for it. How do you get DAZN, Chin? The zone? The zone's an app. I have it. Yeah. I, I subscribe. Yeah, but I, I, I want to watch on my TV, not my phone. You can get it. Just download the app. Really? Yeah. Really easy. I How much it. is the pay per view? There's no way they're charging 100 bucks, are they? That's rude. Oh, not bad. Twenty four ninety nine. That is a solid deal. Yep. For the subscription. Yeah, I'm going to watch it. Um, Currently, this is the sole method to access the pay-per-view section of KSI. That means that's the only way? That so you have to have a subscription. Can I cancel it after? Or <laughs> am I forced to watch their other trash content? <laughs> it's uh, $55, $54.99. Mm. Solid deal. Take my money. I want to do a fight companion. You, me, Bradley Martin, and Tripoli. That would be great. That would have been great. That would have been fun. That would have been. Love to do that. Well, I'm looking well, forward to it. What is your so so? You'll be flying. What's your so. call? What's your call? Tommy Fury. Tommy Knockout. Fury over KSI. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but he should win. Yeah, and then Dennis. Uh, if Danis, said, if Danis they, doesn't do something wild, yeah. If Danis doesn't do something just crazy wild, I would assume Logan. Mm. Interesting. I think Logan suing him takes away from the whole. Logan is suing him? His, his fiance is. She is? Yes. Okay. And then on, on Jake Paul's podcast, they're talking about how they're – Garner his wages and all the shit for the rest of his life. It's like, I don't like that. Yeah. That's not cool. The KSI Tommy Fury face off was atrocious. Why? Yeah, it's just, you know, they yeah. shouldn't do it. You see, it makes you kind of. The Logan Paul Dylan Dennis one was good. Mm. That's what they're good at. That, that uh, Ngano uh, Fury, Fury uh, trailer. trailer? It's great. Just great. High level production. Yes. Yeah, it's about time. Smart and very good. Uh, Fight of that mag too. That's what they need. Yeah. Now, now our boy Ngano, I think, is working with Teddy Atlas and Tyson, or is that just one-offs? No, he's working with them, but his coach Nixick is the coach. Who's you know, he's one of the best we have in the business by far. And what do you think? Same thing as always. I th Tyson or uh, Francis has a puncher's chance, and he has to get done early. He needs to just throw caution and went and bull rush him. Yeah. He has two rounds to get it done after that. It's going to be a nightmare. Yeah. Because Fury will just figure him Pick out. Pick him apart. Yeah. yeah. So like, oh, this apart. is what you're going to do? Okay. I'll just stand over here. But he, he just needs to go balls to the wall and hopefully catch him. Yeah. Both are going to make a fortune, barrage. yeah? They'll make a lot of money, yeah. It's a win-win for both of them. No, if Tyson loses, that'd be awful for him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Brian, what do you think about uh, Fury already booking the Usyk fight? I think I'm really excited about that fight. I mean, he's so much bigger than Usyk. And no, we don't want you to break down the fight. What do you think of him agreeing to fight Usyk, which is the toughest fight, weeks after Francis fight? I think... Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think, like about I think Francis, it, I think it makes sense, and here's why. I think he's going to be very finely tuned, so he has to do one fight camp 
keep that going and then you know provided he doesn't get hurt or anything and then it's like let me let me let me make fast work of Ngano. He's got to know that he's going to be able to figure him out. That's just him place. assuming it's yes, an easy work. But it's going to be a sparring match for him in his mind, and I think he's probably right. The smart money would be, say yeah. that. And then he goes, "All right, good. So I just get no rut, ring rust, and I go right into Usyk, who is smaller, but a fucking such a technical boxer, just such the best he's ever boxer, faced. One hundred percent. Now Usyk is two twenty. Tyson is. 600 pounds so and way taller so you know it'll be interesting but if anybody i just can't believe Usyk f did what he did to um anthony joshua who is 250 he did to him twice yeah man it's like wow and i was watching a breakdown of that fight too like Usyk sets traps he does all kinds of stuff that oh, like just high level technical shit. yeah he's as good as we have right he's 36 too you gotta remember he's been fighting for a long time and those russians ukrainians whatever they he's just from ukraine yeah they break that shit down it's like every I, he's such a savage such a savage man such a savage i just don't get why if you're fury why not do it in february do you have to do it a few weeks after you know how disrespectful that is yeah and it's, the, it's, it's smart you're, though you're, isn't you're, it? you're talking, yeah i don't know if it's smart because what headbutt well, you might happens. get hurt or yeah, yeah headbutt happens a cut happens and you postpone it it's just not smart. There's no upside to doing it right after. Uh, there is though. Just as because you're th these are professionals. Yeah, but you don't so have to you go through be another shape. camp, right? But but what you do have to do is you're focused on an MMA fighter in Francis. Then you got to refocus on a straight up skilled boxer who's six to yeah, two hundred twenty pounds. Yeah, but isn't it isn't it a fact that he's been boxing for so long that it's just training as you, as you, business as usual though? No, there's going to have to be a crazy game plan against Usyk. Yeah. He's never fought somebody Usyk like is Usyk. Amazing, man. Usyk's a motherfucker. He's a motherfucker. But isn't there like I just feel like um he's just gonna box the way he boxes, isn't he? Or is, does he have to no, game plan? No, you have to have game yeah, you, fuck yeah, you gotta game plan at this yeah. level. You can't just go in there and hope for the best. Watch tape and watch fuck what he does. yes. Hell yes. He's probably doing that. He's now. also a South Paul. Oh Jesus. Usyk's South Paul. Fuck. Francis is not. Oof. So you're going traditional, conventional, orthodox stance to a southpaw who's the best technical boxer you've ever faced in a matter of weeks. Now, he's fought southpaws before. Same trainer as um, Lomachenko, right? Cause same camp, same... Uh, I don't I think, know. I think so. Pretty sure. Um, wow. Fuck. How, how long after the Ngano fight is he fighting? It's supposed to be December or January. They're... I think December is like the what they're targeting, but it might be January. They announced December, so in leaked December. But I, and I, I, to your point, I think they're kind of being like, all right, if the if the France fight didn't go as easy as we think, let's do this in January. Yeah. If he smokes them in a round or two or three or four, and he doesn't get hurt, let's do it in December. Yeah. If he doesn't get hurt, how much time does he take off? When's he back in the gym? But he takes a week off. Yeah. <laughs> He's a savage. Kudos to him. Yeah. 100%. Apparently, from that, that TV show, he, he's a bit of a spendthrift. Spend oh, really? Thrift. The gypsy's not good with his money? <laughs> <laughs> like, but, he's, but it's not that he's good with, mad with his money. He's a little bipolar. So he'll be like, I want to buy a castle, and I want to buy a house pony, and I want a baby tiger, and a spacecraft. And, she's, and his wife is like, no, no, and no. Well, that's why his wife ran his team around. Yeah. But he's getting lump sums of like 40, 50, 60 million. So yeah, dude. Yeah, but we all know that goes. You can spend it. We all know that there are plenty it. of people that just all of a sudden are broke. <laughs> like, yeah. What? Look at Nicolas Cage. And we got a lot of shitty movies to pay for. Yeah. So. What do you got, Jen? All right. Well, I think Canelo made like fifty mil for yes. the Charlo fight, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Fifty. Fifty mil. Yeah. That's not surprising. Canelo's good for. Good. I mean, how much, so good for much Charlo money. too. These boys are making money. It's beautiful. Uh, so I just saw this pop Head up button. recently. Uh, Rogan's deal with Spotify is going to end in like 11 months. So who knows what's going to happen, but yeah. I have <laughs> It's close. Though. What do you think he does? I, I think, think they I, back the I, Brink I, trucks up. I think he resigns. Because they've done, they, they signed Dak Shepard, they signed Caller Daddy, signed a few others. None of them has added value or the viewership they didn't cross over like Rogan did. Yeah. So I think Spotify's going to be like, all right, let's cut them. Their deals are up because they yeah. signed all at the same time. Yeah. We're going to keep Rogan. 
But I assume they have to pay him more money. Well, I, I think a couple things are going to happen. One is I think this is all speculation. I haven't talked to Joe, but one is Joe will – Spotify stood by him during the COVID thing. They stood by him. They also stood by him during the, the, uh, the N-word, N-word controversy. Yeah, that was the biggest one. And, the COVID thing's and, whatever. The N-word thing was a big one. Yeah, and they stood by him. But, but even with the COVID thing, remember, a lot of, like, Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, a lot of people were like, I'm taking my music off until you get hit. Yeah, they're all cucks. And, but Spotify's they, but, like, okay. There was, there was pressure, and they, they, they kind were like, of. kiss my ass. Neil Young's like, I'm taking my catalog. Spotify went, but, okay. But, but so Rogan is very loyal that way, and my guess is he, he will never forget that, number one. Number two... Um, I think what's if I was Joe and I was his and I'm not, but if I was his people, I would say, now let's take a look at how much your stock has grown since he, he came on. Yeah. Yeah. So I always like, said he got underpaid. We'll take a piece of the company. Yep. We'll take a, we, you know, give us this and then, you know, what's it worth to you? That's all. Just let's do some math. Math yep. is going to tell us that he's probably going to get a crazy deal. Correct. But let me ask you this. Let's say Spotify, for whatever reason, um, I have no clue. They're going to, but let's say they don't offer him. So take Spotify off the, oh no. Then what do you do? Then you go back to making a fortune on YouTube. No, and no, that. that's not an option. YouTube's not an option. Oh, well then, then what you do is you start your own paywall. There's the move. You start your own like sort of company where you know you and people will come over. So what Luis Gomez did. They have their own skank fest behind their own. It's not Luis Gomez it's not, is a good business. Yeah, it's not Patreon. It's their own thing. They did it way before Patreon Smart. started. They did it a long Smart. time ago. I know. I wish we thought of it. Yeah, we didn't. But if if I'm Rogan, I do that. Yeah, man. Because YouTube's going to be more censored because the election. Remember, the elections coming up in 2024, so the censorship's can get much worse. So Rogan can't live on there it's and talk freely. It's going to get much worse. Yeah, I know for a fact. I talk to people. I'm also getting a lot of stuff on my feed that is pushing uh, a very interesting left wing agenda. And That's because you so, look at that stuff. Because well, I don't no, get it's just that. So weird that it's I don't just get popping that up all of a sudden. Uh, see, I don't get that What's stuff. What's going on? Well, they because why? Why are they fucking with my algorithm? Because they can you know? compromise you. Yeah. It's the stuff you're looking at. It only recommends stuff that they think you're interested in. Yeah. It doesn't send me that stuff. <laughs> Right? Well, you drive a TRX. Yeah, send me something to storm the Capitol. I was like, what? Oh, wait I'm not into this. Uh-huh. When is it? <laughs> is there free coffee? I'm sorry. Yeah. But yeah, if, if I'm Rogan, I, I, would, uh, I would start my own thing. I wouldn't go on YouTube or any of that. I'd start my own thing. That's if Spotify doesn't back up the Brinks truck, which I think they will. But the only other option is start your own thing. I think that's the only, that is the only option. Yeah. It seems that it's not. I don't think YouTube's not, or, or, you know, who else is a player in this? Rumble. Rumble's a great player in this. Rumble is. If they have the money. I don't know if they have that much capital. It's not, it's not a question of money. For Rumble, it's a question of bandwidth. So it's a question of, I think, um, can you, can, do you have the infrastructure to handle that kind of they do because they have russell brand and stuff like that but it's, it, it, it'd be money would be yeah you have to do you do you have the capital where you can pay somebody like rogan to be on your platform the next i, I three think years? that's where there would be a lot of people who who institutional money that would say we'll we'll sign up there are investors invest yeah and you give rogan a piece of, of the pie yeah rumble is uh rumble's really impressed me with how where they they the brass balls and standing with russell brand well, they impress me because they don't do anything yeah that, yeah. That's impressive. They're not sens- They're not into censorship no. or demonetizing people. Yeah, just off of hearsay news yeah. articles. What else you got? This is a cool little clip of uh, Utah football players. Everyone that with a scholarship got a truck, a brand new truck. Walk-ons and it's- are like, damn. <laughs> Wait, how did this work? I mean, the trucks are branded with. The- so I think they get eighty-three scholarship athletes. That's eighty-three. Ram 1500s. Mm-hmm. So it's, it costs around $5 million, I think, for the lease. But they're leased. So I think they only have them for a certain amount of time. But there's not. iPad screen right here. There's a full iPad screen. <laughs> yeah. They all got trucks. Who yep. gave it to them? It's Dodge the- dealer in Utah, I bet. For the NIL. Oh. It's a great looking. Yeah, but they have to have that for the win thing on it. With that little, yeah. Well, it's going to be like, right? yeah. Yeah, course, they're going to yeah. get theirs. <gasps> but I mean, they had, that's impressive. Yeah, college kids get a free Dodge Ram 1500. Yeah. Damn. I'd be stoked. I'd be like this. Um, do you guys have an electric car I can trade this in for? <laughs> <laughs> 
Ooh, what kind of gas does this take? What's this? Uh, Georgie? This, remember back when we saw the video of Jamal Murray and Alexander Volkanovsky? Yeah, they're besties. Uh, I didn't know this, but the whole entire team had to do jujitsu training that day. Any Where of these at? guys who learn jujitsu can beat anybody I in think one in month. Colorado, I would assume. But. Oh, that's at Easton's. Oh, that's at uh, yeah, that's at Don't Easton's. Don't teach in NBA players they can beat anybody in jujitsu in a month because they have long legs, right, Brennan? Yeah. Long arms, right? No, I don't think just so, buddy. Kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Although it would go a long way with these giant dudes, I would imagine. It's not a feeling you did it for one day. No, that's true. Look yourself up. Go. Hey, Elliot, just teach them arm bars and stuff, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> they're doing like the shrimp. Yeah, they're doing like shrimping and falling. <laughs> oh, yeah, Marshall's got a hell of a school. Oh, yeah, the best. I mean, they're going at it right there. Where's Joe Kit? I want to see Joe Kitch. He makes too much money. Joe Kitch is like, I'm not going. Yeah. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Who is that? Well, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Just long, thin men. Uh, Snaz. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one. All right. Wait, what is this? This one makes nope, me gag even talking about it. I can't even watch it. Well, you're going to have to. Okay. So. I just read the headline. <clears throat> Why are they doing Kevin this? Kevin Gates, rapper, uh, infamous prisoner, whatever we want to refer to him as, <clears throat> went ahead and uh, kicked off his Only the Genitals tour and no. invited a woman on stage and asked her pretty much, can I do whatever I want to you? And she said, yes. And this is what he proceeded to do. Is her boyfriend in the crowd? Like, yeah, Kevin yeah, Gates. I've seen that guy at Air One, Bubba. Give it up for Bubba, Kevin. I've seen that yeah, guy I've at Air One. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Get up for Kevin. Why would he do this? He's like, what are we? What are you doing, babe? No, <laughs> I can't do it. Oh God. What's his name? Kevin, Kevin Gates. Gates. <laughs> He's <laughs> spits in her yeah. mouth. Turn it off, dude. <laughs> no, it's it's really raunchy. But and, why uh, is he doing that? And I thought he was way more spiritual. I've heard he's his very stuff. spiritual. Yeah. But so what's he doing? I with don't Pace? know. Why he's doing hey, that. he's not spiritual, right? <laughs> you bought that? You fuck. What's he? But be a rapper with face tattoos, right? I know, but like he talks what? about well, a Bible verse. Yeah, all this. So stuff. did Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> but, but I've seen him. He's got little dogs. I've seen him. Yeah, sure, dude. Ugh. He's a sweetie. Why would you do that? Leave him in a room around your girl. Why would you do that, bro? Take Why your girl you to that concert. Let me know how sweet he's he is. so low class, man. What are you doing? That's not right. Sanaz, give me your take on that. Is there any artist you're allowed to spin your face? Absolutely <laughs> not. There, There is no way anyone's hawking anything in my mouth. Shit, I'd go to three well, seconds of Mars. <laughs> 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 the only you person know, on. the only person I would let do that is Jared Leto but that's it maybe three seconds to Mars <laughs> <laughs> yeah there are girls I would probably let spit in my mouth I don't care I mean maybe uh, Hugh not Jackman. a loogie not a loogie no I can't no, I'll throw up spit. on stage but like spit in my face yeah I mean if you're making out with somebody like a Hillary anyway, Duff concert so it doesn't matter <laughs> what you're that, making that's out that's a difference that's like when people are like we make out why can't we use the same toothbrush yeah that's gross I'm not a loogie in my mouth. No, a loogie, no, no. But just a like a, not that good. had viscosity. No, that's nasty. Viscosity is not where I don't go there. I'd let Rihanna spit in my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah of course probably would. not. Probably, I'm like, what the? You probably would. Because it doesn't. I don't think so. It doesn't turn me on. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. Oh my god. I'd let Katy Perry do it. Front row. Yeah, but Brent, you let freaking Tai Tuivasa spit a loogie into the shoe and you drank, drank it. That's a shoey dude. You drank it. You drank it. Pastime. You're fucking. He drank it though. Like you a, drank Tai Tuivasa spit. He, yeah. Oh man, what are you talking about now? A giant. It was Samoan. a fat loogie. It was, yeah, it was, it was disgusting. God damn, and I, dude. And I did throw up. Fuck. How did you? I'm not oh. Australian, dude. I can't. I'd let Katy Perry spit in my face. <laughs> Katy Perry, and Katy Perry, both. Yeah. Dude, I got to talk to this guy when I see him. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Case isn't a very rapperish name. Mm. What's this? All right, I got one more for you. You know, I'm a big WWE gal, but Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Oprah got some backlash. Uh, a while ago, they came out, you know, trying to put this fund together to donate money to people in Hawaii because of the fires. But they got a lot of shit for it. And, you know, the working man is like, here we are watching these two asking us for money. <laughs> 
yeah. when we're living paycheck to paycheck. Yes. But the, the thing I think people forget is that these two donated five million each too. Mm. And did, did they say that in the video? I do not. Like if the know. Rock I, was I didn't like, hear them say that. if the Rock was like, hey everybody, I just donated five million dollars to the Maui Foundation. Whatever you know, whatever you can give, more than good. But they were just like, hey, everybody, Maui's on fire. Give us your money. I, I also like, have to say that I think the two richest th people on the planet. This is also where government comes in and tax dollars come in and emergency funds come in. Ukraine took and, all that. Yeah, we don't need, uh, we don't need to. Uh, uh, but I'm going to tell you a couple things on foreign aid for a second that people forget. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Uh, but they do. <laughs> Fuck so, yeah. so when you say, Fuck yeah. so when we say, we, yes! we gave $70 billion yeah, dollars to Ukraine. Yeah. It's, it's not really nah, true. It's not that much. It's not what we did. Yeah. So do you know how that works? It's kind of interesting. No, please so explain. What one percent of the U.S. budget goes to foreign aid, and when you hear forty billion, seventy billion to Ukraine, what it really means is that they're sending weapons, food, and things like that, right? Resources. Guess, guess what, though? It's kind of sneaky. The reason you don't hear Congress and a lot of people freaking out about it and know is this: Well, okay, seventy, forty billion dollars, right, to Ukraine. Do you know who makes those weapons? American companies. Do you know who makes that food? All the clothing and everything else, all the supplies? American companies. It's kind of a sneaky way of putting the money back into the U.S. economy. So what they do is it's a government subsidy. So the government kind of goes, let's, let's you know, here are a couple companies, 10 companies, 15 companies. Here's a contract. Make this, make this, make this. So they actually get paid. The Newsom so that's why. This? No, this is a fact. So that's why you see congressmen who are not They don't allude it. to it. Well, no, but Congress like, know that their constituents yeah. are very happy because the aid actually is a way of stimulating the U.S. economy by getting the U.S. economy to make all those. No, the war is war is good for business. Yeah, unfortunately, I actually didn't know that though because you hear a lot of people say it's a blank check, and that's what that's political rec rhetoric. Actually, it's way more layered than that. But I was surprised by that, mm -hmm. and I was always wondering because it's like. It's secretly everybody in Congress is like, uh, "Hey, fucko, it's yeah, actually kind of good for the." It. Yeah, yeah. It's a way of s stimulating. It's a way of getting the government to give money to people. <laughs> so yeah, I think The Rock and Oprah are a little just tone deaf to this. The two yeah, richest people. I we felt know. that way when I saw it. I was like, mm. I didn't see it, nor would I click on it. But uh, you're talking about two of the richest. Yeah. And that's what he said. He like realizes he was a little toned after the situation. He's like apologizing. Well, he should have just been like, yo, I donate five million just to start. If you guys match it, whoever <laughs> it takes, I'll donate another five million. And to your point, and I'll do Jumanji seven. Yeah, but to, to your point, if we can spend 70 billion dollars in Ukraine, we, we have the money for Hawaii. And so th 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 that's what it is. It's like, no, 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 I'm not giving money. No, no I matter. give tax dollars. No matter what money, however you figure we're getting the 70 billion to Ukraine, you know, the, that same money could go to protecting the borders. Oh, well, that's, how about the fact that Biden's building a wall? <laughs> oh, how about he blames the Republicans now? <laughs> He's building a wall. He's now like, I've always surprise. said we needed a wall. It's like, <laughs> huh? Why? Yeah. It's interesting. What else you got, Jen? All right, last one, MMA related. <clears throat> so, Derek Lewis is going to replace your boy Ooh. Curtis Blades mm. to headline Sao Paulo, and he's going to. Have you seen this Almeida kid Jonathan fight? Re super athlete, jujitsu specialist, submits everybody under the sun. Was supposed to fight Curtis Blades, which would have been a much more interesting matchup. Now you got Derek Lewis. Derek Lewis, <clears throat> it, it's a tough call. It's tough to call here because Derek Lewis hit so fucking hard. <clears throat> But if he's on his back, he's like a turtle, and he can get ankle lock, knee barred, arm yeah. barred. If yeah. uh, Almeida will go straight to mount and just do work, he's a savage. Just sick jujitsu, ridiculous, ridiculous, and like real athlete for a heavyweight, super athlete. Go Almeida, so Brian knows who we're talking about, Jen. All right, Derek Lewis. We're all familiar with Derek the Lewis. Oh yeah. He's Wow, you just saw a picture of a black guy and said he's no, a I've beast. No, I've seen him. Jesus I've seen him. Christ. I've seen him. You know nothing about him. went, man, yeah, that guy's No, 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 I've seen him. Looking. I've seen him fight. He's a monster. I mean, he took Rosenstruck right down. Yeah. Monster. God. Tough fight for Derek Lewis. He's like a, he's like a bigger jacare, huh? Like a bigger crocodile. He's not that good. No? No. 32, 6, 3, 231. Oh, can you bring them up? Because I got I love how how these Brazilians age. It's my favorite. Bring up a picture of them. Yeah, look at it. Take a look at his face there. Looks a little older than 32. 
Two. He looks about every bit of smiles. 32. There he looks young. But he does look older when you see him in person. Yeah. They like that right there. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a worn face. It's a 32-year-old. He's just punched in the face. He has bad skin, yeah. too. That's the other thing. Yeah. A lot of geese, though. A lot of jiu-jitsu. You can have bad skin. Yeah. It's an interesting fight, though. Two um, clashing styles. Our boy, uh, the best body in the history of the... Apollo? Yeah. He's got staph infection. Yeah. He had well, surgery like two weeks ago. For staff, staff. That it was Must that bad. bad. Yeah, they had to go in and carve it out. Holy shit! Yeah, that's <gasps> his elbow. Well, I don't no. know, man. Is he able to fight? No. Yeah, he'll still fight. No. Oh my god, that's fucked up, dude. What do they do? They carve it out. Yeah. Must have been really, really bad. Jesus Christ. That's just dirty mats, just rubbing. Who knows? Staff's everywhere. everywhere. If it gets in your joints, apparently it's really bad. Uh, if he gets in your bloodstream is when it's bad. Ugh. That's when you're fucked. Immersive. Yeah. Ugh. Horrible. Is that it, Chin? That's it. Wow. Fuck. Well, Brian, you're off to a uh, wedding? I am, buddy, but uh, I'll, be at, I'll be at the Schomburg Improv October 27th and 28th. I've got to get that up on, on there. Okay. Schomburg Improv October 27th, 28th, Friday, Saturday. Raleigh, North Carolina, Good Nights, November 9, 10, and 11. And Yuck Yucks, Calgary. November 16, 17, When you 18. talk to your agent, do you go, can you send me as far as possible? Yeah. I try to get really, Hell really yeah. out there. I will be in Niagara Falls November 4th and 5th. Those are most sold out. One show Friday, one show Saturday, Ooh. November 4th and 5th. Niagara Falls, New York at Seneca Casino. That's not far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 but I have to go to the Olympia for rain on the night before so i gotta fly to orlando oh they go from orlando and then up to fly into buffalo that's right and then take a car tonight you're damn Falls. right you will uh then i'm in chicago december 8th and 9th two shows friday two shows saturday chicago come get you some uh niagara falls you're up next on november 4th through the 5th new pod with uh we did live at skank fest in vegas with the legion of skanks and brian and i is available right now bonus episode a fine kid with legion of skanks lewis gomez dave smith big j brian cow myself available right now on youtube all audio platforms all right kids love you we're out